Hello. We begin with lines and angles today in this session. Before taking up all the theorems and the rules, uh, let us brush up our um, uh, definitions on few terms. Under this, I write the terms which I will be discussing. I keep writing actually one after the other. First one being, what is an angle? When two non-collinear rays meet at one point or they come from one initial point, which we call an angle. This I think is quite simple one, you know, I don't want to draw any figure for it then. Next, we come across interior of an angle. We know the part which is, which lies in the interior of a drawn angle. Hmm? Then comes exterior, interior of the angle or I write it here the same point. Then comes congruent angles. What are congruent angles? Two angles are congruent or equal if one is almost the copy of the other. That means if the measurement of suppose angle A is equal to the measurement of B, then they are congruent angle. We know about right angles, any the measurement of which is 90 degree. Hmm. Then what else comes our way? Yeah, we come across ac acute and, I write it at one go, acute and obtuse angle. The measurement of any angle which is between 0 degree to 90 degree, less than 90 degree is acute more than 90 less than 180 that is obtuse then comes straight angle which is equal to 180 degree this i think you must have read it previous year but still i'm um, uh, we'll be just going through all the terms which will be coming across later in the chapter then come reflex angle what is reflex angle an angle which is measure more than 180 hmm, less than 360 it will surely be reflex angle the eighth term will be complementary angles yes this one we need to be very clear about because uh, we'll be taking up questions on this complementary angles the pair of angles we took about talk about two angles sum of whose is equal to 90 degree i take up a uh, writing example here and suppose we have two angles uh, 30 and the other being 60 the sum of these two angles are is 90 so that makes these 30 degree and 60 degree angles to be complementary so they are complement to each other the complement to 30 will be 60 similarly the complement of 60 will be 30 the sum of these two will be equal to 90 that makes it that makes a pair of um, angles to be complementary angles I take the ninth one that is supplementary angles oh I made a mistake in the spelling supplementary angles will be the sum of whose uh, those two angles whose sum is 180 mm, what is an angle bisector bisecting an angle into two equal half is an angle bisector suppose i'm drawing a figure here this is angle b this is a this is c i draw another ray which bisects the whole of p b a c into two equal halves. had suppose that been b a c been suppose um some 70 degrees so if this I am writing as P and BAP will then be 35 and PAC be 35. That makes these two angles equal and AP become the angle bisector of the given angle BAC. then what else if i am missing out on anything any any more term yeah what are non-collinear points points 
three or more points which lie on the same line are collinears and which do not lie which they are otherwise which do not lie in the same line are non collinear so i write collinear as well as non collinear Mm, what else? What are linear pair of angles? We'll also come across linear pair of angles. What does that mean? Or adjacent angle? Okay, before getting into linear pair, we take up adjacent angle. I write it here. Adjacent angles. I just have to clear. Okay, let me just have this one. I'll erase the part wherein I explain angle bisector. I'll use the same figure to explain the adjacent angles. Two angles are said to be adjacent. Now these are two angles BAP and PAC. These are supposed two angles which have a common vertex A. Here in this case become A and have a common arc which is AP in this case. BAP has got AP and PAC will all also have the arm AP. So they have a common arm AP and they are non-common arms. What are the non-common arm? Mm, sorry, non-common arms in both the angles BA and AC. They should lie on different sides of the common arm. I mean what BA and AC should be lying on either sides of AP they cannot be on one side that is the uh, you know um, explanation for adjacent that's more important because if I see there are two ways I can write BAP and BAC those are also two angles which are on a common base uh, sorry common vertex A and which also have a common um, uh, sorry a common arm which is BA but the only um, characterization uh, characteristic which is not fitting in here that is BA which is the common arm is on one side of the two tangle, uh, angles it has to be on either side hmm? so in this case BAP and PAC can be the adjacent angles then comes linear pair of angles what are linear pair of angles the sum of any two adjacent angles when is 180 degree they are said to be a linear pair of angles here also when I say adjacent angle either you remember it the definition of adjacent angle along with the sum which is 180 or you need to remember that it, it is a pair of angles the sum of whose is 180 and the non common arms are on the either side. It is better to remember linear pair of angle as adjacent angles whose sum is 180. Okay. Then comes T opposite uh -oh, angles what are vertically opposite angles suppose there are two rays which are intersecting at the point O suppose I name this as A B this as C D this they intersect at the point O there are two vertically opposite angle opposite they are facing one another so A O D E is facing B O C they are the vertically opposite and B O D is also facing A O C thereby making those two as well vertically opposite angles uh, what else Mm, anything if I am missing I would rather uh, start taking a few theorems now or ok I will just take up a few questions which were based on um, complementary supplementary and maybe next one um, uh, then we move on to uh, like this theorem so, 
I write here the questions or I move on to another screen. Oh, find the measure of an angle which is complement of itself. Now it says complement means we previously have learned the sum of two angles whose um, uh, is 90 degree. That means here there is an angle. Oh, I will erase that part. Mm. Find the measure of an angle. Oh, I have made a mistake there in spelling. Just ignore it, please. This one here. That has to be an angle. Hmm. It says when we know that sum of two angles will be 90 degree in complement. And it says the measure of an angle which is complement of itself. That means these two will be the same value here. So it will be x plus x if I assume the number uh, to the angle measurement to be x degree and x degree. It becomes 2x equals 90. So x equals 45. That means an angle which is 45 has the complement also 45. We take up one more such question. I write the question here. An angle is equal to 5 times its complement. Determine its measure. Here we have one, here we have one and then the sum here is equal to 90 degree. Uh, this is see, this is this you cannot do for your solution. You better take that one angle is x, so the uh, other angle will be 90 minus x. So this I'm taking at x. This will then be 90 minus x. But what is the relation between these two? It says an angle is five times its complement. That means x will be 5 times 90 minus x. That's our equation. Let's solve it. 450 minus 5x. I carry 5x to the other side. That makes it x plus 5x. 6x is equal to 450 and thereby making this 450 by 6 as 75. That means 75 is the measure of an angle which is equal to 5 times it complement hmm. so it is 75 now we move on with another question on the same note now I'll take up one question on supplementary hmm. two supplementary angles and letting it be as um, supplementary in the short forms uh, in the ratio 2 is to 3 find the angles hmm. now we will be uh, letting let the angles be 2x and 3x if the two angles are in this ratio, the sum will be 180 in case of um, a supplementary angle pair. So it is 2x plus 3x is 180 degree. That's making it 5x equals 180 degree. So x will be equal to some 36 degrees, 180 by 5. Now when x is 36, the two angles we had assumed were 2x so that is 2 into 36 72 and 3 into 36 that's giving me some 108 degrees mm -hmm. 
I leave one more que uh, question for you to solve by yourself. I write it here below. The supplementary of this is one uh, question just taking up supplementary with the first complement question I had taken up of an angle is one third of itself not the first one maybe the second one sorry determine uh oh determine the angle and its supplement that won't be too difficult for you the answer will be 135 and 45 i'm just giving you for your you know checking so that you don't and you should see the sum of these two will be 180 as well we continue in the next session with the theorems thank you